Satya skills. In this video, uh, let us learn about an important topic that is asset liability management with reference to banks. What is asset liability management? Decision on portfolio investment is crucial because it directly influences the liquidity and profitability of banks and for banks these two are very essential. Actually what is liquidity? Profitability we all know. Liquidity means capacity to convert an asset into cash without waste of time and value. Example is maybe money in deposits or treasury bill etc. Very easily we can convert and uh, there is no loss of value or time. Whereas, take example of building that is fixed asset, least liquid asset. So, that is called liquidity. Asset liability management is a comprehensive framework for measuring, monitoring and managing the risk like uh, liquidity risk, interest risk and exchange rate risk in the bank of the banks. Thus, asset liability management is a data and information based technique that enables the portfolio manager to identify, understand and manage the risk involved in the bank balance sheet. It provides a comfortable and trustworthy framework to make investment decisions importance. What is the importance of this? This actually lot can be said about it. To first one is to identify, monitor and manage risk and to take timely actions. It is an important area of concentration in portfolio manage management of banks. If you are thorough with portfolio management, you can understand all these. Portfolio managers are using technical asset liability management to make a scientific study of risk factor in the investments and also for making efficient balance sheet means investments. Okay. Another one is that uh, it enhances the profitability uh, skill. Institutions, banks and financial organizations that aim at profits can determine profitability using asset liability management. Intelligent portfolio with balanced risk and return is in the investment policy can be assured if the manager is able to implement asset liability management properly and they can maximize profits. Then Another advantage understand the balance sheet is very important one. Asset liability management process provides a useful insight into the nature and behavior of various items and assets and liability side of bank balance sheet. The technique enables the portfolio manager to assess the status and reaction of assets and liabilities under changing markets or changing market situations. The effect of market forces and assets and liabilities can be efficiently analyzed by using asset liability management process. Then changes or developments in capital market after liberalization there is a phenomenal growth in capital market. The developments were very fast which resulted in liquidity. Such changes can be efficiently utilized by banks by applying the technique of asset liability management. After financial sector reforms, banks and several public sector units in India are entering into capital market. This necessitates to know about the reaction and response of portfolio to the developments of capital market or to the changes of capital market. Providing information, the concept of Asset liability management provides necessary information in a systematic way. Timely and adequate information is the most essential input for efficient portfolio management. Banker takes decisions after analyzing the information. Today's business world is information based. Thus, asset liability management is a great support to the bank portfolio management. Then it quantifies the risk. This is another very important one. Bank balance sheet has inherent risks. With the development of competition, banks concentration on risk analysis also increase, they have to do it. Asset liability management provides a suitable framework to identify, understand, quantify and manage risks of portfolio. The asset liability management suggests various ways and means to measure 
and monitor the risk in the portfolio and helps to transfer assets to a safer portfolio. And then what is the procedure involved in it? Asset liability management is a process which is undertaken under different stages. It consists of the following stages. First one is data programming. This is the first stage of asset liability management. It is a data based program that I already told you. Under this component relevant data about the items of portfolio are collected. Data gives the details such as description, details, amount, nature of assets held in the portfolio etc. At this stage, the analyst can obtain detailed reports on various related issues of assets in the portfolio. Then portfolio analyst obtains data and information from the first stage to prepare cash flow statements. This is the second stage. The inflow and outflow of cash will have considerable influence on balance sheet and investment decisions especially on liquidity risk. Cash flow reports give the data, amount, nature, duration and rate of cash flows from and to assets and liabilities. Next stage is analysis reports. Then by using the above information statements, the analyst quantifies the information and generates different reports in numerical and graphical form for easy interpretation. They are like net present value report of assets and liabilities as you all know very well. Then report on actual cash flow from assets and liabilities, report on potential liquidity problems that is in future. Then report on duration of maturity of assets and liabilities, report on risk in every item, projections on net income that is another report. RBI issued guidelines to Indian banks in this regard and insisted banks to constitute asset liability committee. RBI also issued detailed guidelines on asset liability management to all the banks. RBI also monitors the risk assets of banks through the reports on asset liability management. That is all in this video.